Hey guys, welcome to the first video edition of the Raymoro Files Mega Fridays. Finally, we're doing it in video after such a long time of doing write-ups. And right now, we're here at Plano Attack Studio. I'm joined here by Sir Roji. Roji. Roginald. Roginald. Yeah, Sama. Roginald of, uh, Sir, of Plano Attack. And from Kotobukiya, Philippines, it's Sir Gladwin Tan. And they have just, or we have just done wrapping up the uh, First ever, I believe. First ever. Uh, yeah, Frame Arms Girls Philippines Meetup. It's quite a mouthful. Or a FA Girls uh, PH Meetup. I'm gonna call it FA Girls since we yeah. all know how deep. <laughs> yeah. Like people and their creative minds. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of FA people. Girl. Yeah, FA Girl. Okay. That's the official term anyway. Uh, That's the official FA term. Girl. FA Girl. And, yeah, a lot of people came in. Uh, they've had a uh, build competition, I believe. Yeah, and uh, mini yeah, build up uh, competition. Mini build up competition. The album is gonna be up on uh, Plamo Attacks Facebook page, so we can check that. We can all check that out later. And today we're gonna continue our talk about FA Girls. If you can remember, if you have been following us on our website www.ramerofast.com on our Mecca Friday segment, you can remember that I tried writing something about FA Girls and. Well, I tried. <laughs> so, just to expand, you know, the uh, discussion more, I'm gonna be joined again by Sir Roji and uh, Sir Gladwin. And first off, let's just introduce our FA Girls lineup we have right here in front of us, and also right there. So uh, let's start with the very first one. I believe actually it's... the very first one is the Gorai. Yeah, the Gorai. Yeah. Right, this one. There you go. It's right here. And here's, here's the box. The airplane. Yeah, the flyer. Here you go. Okay, yeah, we, we, we have large <laughs> versions of them with our backs adorning our background. And uh, we have Basilard. Is it Basilard or Basilard? Basilard. 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 Oh. Yeah. And uh, next is, uh, we have Architect down here. Uh, let's just introduce them one by one so they don't have to be. Yeah, here's Basilard right here. This is, these are Materia. Yeah, uh, Materia. And let's keep that going there. Actually, that's Basilard. Oh, that's Basilard. Special edition from Hobby Japan. Hobby Japan. Hobby Japan. Oh. And this is oh, the original version, the red one. But the one in the anime is the indigo version. Oh, I see. So, yeah, there you have it. And aside from the main kits, we also have some custom add ons. Sir God, can you introduce us? The powered Karjan suit. Just in case uh, you're. Frame arms girl isn't too well armed enough. You can get her a uh, huge mecha suit called the Powered Guardian. <laughs> it's a mecha within a mecha. Yeah, and it splits into two uh, two machines. Oh. First is this one, the Blitz Gunner. It's a what, air rocket powered motorcycle. Rocket powered like hover bike yeah. or and you don't know the other one. Yeah. Actually, you can attach this as a backpack. Uh, ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So does it fit with all of the mod all of the kits? Yes, they actually mm -hmm. uh, they engineered to fit with the frames of the yes. These are very modular yeah. in design. Ooh. And we also have other versions. This is Gura. This is pronounced uh, as Kapoche. Oh, yeah, Kupoche. 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 It's yeah. copied by Yushikiro Saimaru. Yeah. It's like go. the SD version of the frame arms girl. Yeah. No assembly required, it's an action figure. Oh, but yeah, you can still move it. Yeah, it's completely right? possible. Yes. Right. Though it's still compatible with the MSG parts. Whoa! Yeah, she can fit in the MSG parts as well. Yeah, Actually, nice. she can ride this one. <laughs> well, that's nice. Uh, here's, here it is. I'll take the box. Yeah. Here. The small one. This one, we're gonna talk about that later. But first, uh, yeah, just to get right into the topic right, uh, the topic right away. The popularity of FA Girls. Especially here, we're here in the Philippines. I so will talk about it here in the Philippines. What do you, what do you guys think about like the uh, the appeal of these kits when it comes to collectors, to builders? Like, wh wh where does the appeal come from? In contrast, you know, maybe to other model kits. Actually, uh, this came from a certain art style, I guess, uh, Mecha Musume or Mecha Girls. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, it's. It's not a new thing, it's fairly, it's been among in the yeah, community yeah, for been, quite some time already. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were several toy lines that uh, that did that kind of style. Mm -hmm. But somewhere along the line, uh, it disappeared. And yeah. th that was when uh, Kotobukiya started to introduce their own lines. Mm -hmm. So uh, the idea of a mega girl is, well obviously uh, you, have, you have the pretty girl. The and then, yes. The waifus. <laughs> the waifus. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then you put as much armor, as much swords, as much guns as you want on it. So it's cute and badass at the same time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's the like mix of different attitudes yeah. that appeal to characters, maybe. And uh, you know, talking about clamo attacks, since you guys are selling it here. Yeah. Now, what are your additional inputs regarding the popularity? Like, what do the customers say when we try to ask them why they want to buy, you know, uh, FA girls? Actually, I think what made it popular is the modularity of the parts. Mm-hmm. The customizability because it's really easy to attach weapons, mm-hmm. interchange the parts, mm-hmm. because the pegs are standard at three millimeters. Three millimeters. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. So everything can fit. If you're familiar with uh, Lego. Oh yeah. So it's kind of like Lego. Like, yung... Me- technique or mechanics. Yeah. Or oh. mechanics. It's kind of similar to that, but in a robot format. Mm-hmm. So we can yeah, you can quickly interchange the parts and yeah, you did say that even the add-ons can fit even this smaller version, yeah. the chibi version. They so. designed it to be modular too. Actually, um, the parts are easy to acquire mm-hmm. and the, there are lots of options for you to choose from. So I guess that made it quite popular for customi- customization. Now, I know I've asked this question before. I did say it's gonna be a tough one to answer, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and ask. Which of the kids do you think are the more popular among collectors? I would maybe when it uh, you did say that you know they they all go out of stock. Yeah. <laughs> and right, now, they, right now, almost, <laughs> almost all of the visions are, are are out of stock mm-hmm. in in stores. But uh, maybe in terms of like how fast they sell, which of the kids like get sold out first? Actually, I, I think the Jinrai and the Innocentia I ran out Innocentia. first. Yes. Innocentia. Yeah. And, and Though it's because Innocentia was released right after the anime was aired. Mm-hmm. So the popularity skyrocketed. So oh, yeah, I guess it affected are... the sales and the demand for the kits. Though Gorai has been here for a long time already. Yeah. But she has different versions mm-hmm. already. Still sells. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the uh, first of many, so maybe people are just catching up to the trend right yeah. now, especially since the anime came Especially out. she's the protagonist. Yeah, she's the protagonist also. And next off, I did say we're gonna talk about this uh, spinning Gurai. This actually is a customized uh, Gurai. Yeah. Right? So it, it, it has parts from also other mechas and... Actually, mostly MSG parts. Yeah, mostly MSG. MSG is that? Some, some Most MSG. of them comes in separate packages. Weapons. This one looks like a lightsaber. Actually, it, it lights up. That lights Ooh. up. Yeah. It so comes with the a LED and the battery. The battery is hidden in the hilt. Mm-hmm. And, and it comes with several hands and blades you can choose from. Mm. Oh, this can also be used with the regular frame arm. Yeah. Yes. Oh. It's interchangeable. interchangeable. Oh yeah, you have you do have a lot of stuff going on here. So when it comes to like uh, yeah, c- c- customizing the kits, I mean we all know, especially here in the in the model kit scene or industry, people love to experiment. They mix yeah. parts around. It's all kit bashing for one. Like uh, if, if if I were to start like really customizing my FA girl, if I have one, since I didn't have one yet, <laughs> my FA girl. Oh, ha- soon you will have. Soon <laughs> How hard is it going to be? Like, what challenges would uh, you know modelers and kit builders should expect when you know they they, they, they would go personalizing or customizing their uh, FA girls or they, they, their their their, their uh, FA girl kits? Actually, if you build a gun plug kit, which is more popular, yeah, it's more popular. It's kind of same. It's more or less the same. It's more or less the same. So yeah, so like. But the, the good thing, right, is uh, you did say that the, I mean, the, the design itself was designed mm-hmm. to become really modular and most of the parts are easily interchangeable uh-huh. because they, they fit easily. So, maybe I, I would say the only limit might be your imagination. Yeah, the, your and, imagination and, and, and your, your budget. <laughs> and your budget. And your budget. <laughs> Correct. That's one thing. Okay, let's, let's talk about budget a little bit more. Um... We, we all know, like, here in the Philippines, there are stores, or maybe, uh, yeah, the, the products tend to feel like they price, they're priced as high 
as they should be. And mm -hmm. of course, because of how messy our systems can be when it comes to <laughs> the taxation, the trade tariffs, and mm -hmm. all this stuff. But if, if, if I were, uh, if I were to ask you guys, what do you think, or what can you suggest we can all do to help at least, you know, bring down the pricing a bit or make it more, uh, I would say, inviting to collectors, to 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 to, to model builders or to yeah. Actually, if is there would be more consumers of the product, then there would be more demand, and then if we can import more at a, at a at single the batch, yeah. then maybe we can lower the prices. Or yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not on business marketing. <laughs> <laughs> How do you measure that? Any yeah. actually, he's right. Uh, the more we order, the, the easier, the the, the yeah. lower the import the import the cost. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty much it. So uh, just show support to your uh, official Kotobukiya retailers. Official. Get official. official. And that's the yeah, that's the important. No hanky panky business. Hanky panky business. No uh, third party. <laughs> that's what other people would defend like that's too hard. But that's gonna be a discussion <laughs> for another time. Yeah. All right. And yeah, uh, Plamo. We did introduce the customization, and Plamo does uh, commission. Right, you, you do you do commission yeah, work we do commission for, works for, for, for customization. Actually, in mecha in general, so not just uh, FA girls, but also other mechs. Yeah. If I were to like, you know, maybe if I, if, if if this is a commission, was, was this a commission work? Or? No, no, that's a personal. Yeah, that's it's a personal. How much would you charge people if like they want something like this? Usually, we start at. 3500 That um, doesn't include the cost of the kit? No. no but okay. uh, the price includes the paint and the labor oh. or the... Uh, what do you call this? The commission job. The commission job. So it's more like I buy the kit, I buy whatever add-on I want, and I just tell you, okay, this is what I want to happen. You charge to me. Prices do vary depending on what you want to happen depending to the kit or what the other effects you want it to... Have like for example, I did a uh, weathering, yeah, there's weathering okay. or you want modification for the parts, you want fabrication. I think I saw a custom, uh, like custom cat ears. Yeah, I tried to make it look like a cat, but it turned out to be a bear. <laughs> so it's a kumagurai. Yeah. For you guys, I'll start with you. Which of the kids are or is is your favorite? Personal favorite. Yeah, personal favorite. Out of the box, I think it's Jinrai. Jinrai? Because of the, well, the colors and the weapons that came with it. Yeah, how about <laughs> How about Team Shigladen? For me, uh, it would be Stylet. Because I like the, this one, the blue one. Because uh, I like uh, no, aircraft style. Yeah. And how sleek it looks. Styco. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I think that's all that we uh, can discuss about today. Uh, again, this is uh, Sir Reginald of Plama Daxwood and uh, Sir Gladwin of Kutubagia, Philippines, the yeah. president. Uh, do you guys have anyone to greet, anyone to promote, to do so right now? Well, um, for the guys who came to our event, thank you very much. And I hope next time you'll all be here again. Soon, we're planning another event, a build off or anything that involves Frame Arms Girl. You, Glenn. That's the same. Yeah. Uh, thanks again. Thanks to, you to again. Koto Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. Koto yeah. Philippines. Uh, f uh, Facebook pages or websites that you would want uh, to For collect. updates on the latest news about uh, Frame Arms Girls, uh, you can check Ariga Toys on Facebook, Ariga right. Toys Collectibles. We'll all, we, usually, we consistently post updates and new uh, kits. For you guys to check out. And of course, Plamo Attack, Plamo Attack Studio Custom Collectibles. You can also visit them right here in uh, Timo, Timo. Quezon City. Uh, and we, we also do have a branch in Shaw Boulevard, Shaw. Mandalorian. Mandalorian. There's two branches of uh, Plamo Attack Studio, whichever you're from. If you're coming from the north, then you can drop by here in Timo. If you're coming from the south, from the then south. you can uh, drop by in Mandalorian. And that's it for today, guys. Again, this is Luis and uh, Sir Roji, uh, Roginald of Plamo Attack Studio and Sir Gladwin of Kotobege Philippines. Again, thank you for watching. Do hit that subscribe button. Do like us on Facebook. That's www.primerofiles.com. 
uh, facebook.com slash raymerofiles and also check our website from time to time for the latest from your avid geeks it's www.raymerofiles.com until next time you have just watched Mecha Fridays again to be here plan attack